Hi, my name is Emily Compton and I'm a teaching artist here at Art Mix. And today I'm going to teach you a short art history lesson about an artist and then we'll do a project inspired by that artist's work. Um, I, in addition to being a teaching artist here at Art Mix, I have a degree in art history and I find that it's just a constant source of inspiration for me in my own work and in my teaching practice here at Art Mix. So the artist that I've selected to talk about today, his name is Paul Clay, and he was born in Switzerland, but he was a German artist. And um, he said lots of interesting things and did some interesting things in his life. Um, here I have a little piece of paper it says, um, some famous quotes by him are, the painter should not paint what he sees, but what will be seen. He also said, a line is a dot that went for a walk. And I really like that, that quote by him because it's very playful. And I find his artwork to be kind of thought provoking, but also playful. And I enjoy that about his work. He also said, one eye sees, the other feels. And um, Paul Clay is known for many things, but one thing he's known for is his work tends to be, um, have kind of a dreamlike quality. And it's a lot of times um, gives a feeling of emotion or mystery. And um, his work was kind of not controversial, but often um, discounted at the time because his work was inspired by um, you know, feelings from childhood and um, a lot of his images that he draws have kind of a childlike quality, but I think that that's what today a lot of people enjoy about his work because it's very universal and it, it isn't um, confusing or it's easily understood. So I have just a few pieces of artwork to show you by the artist. This one is called The Angler and um, I picked this work because the technique I'm going to show you today is kind of inspired by um, this look from this time period of his style. So this one's called Jumping Jack. So Paul Clay was just from an early age a natural, what's called a draftsman or someone who draws. And um, he could draw very realistically. He made a conscious decision as he progressed in his um, practice of being an artist to uh, draw more by feeling or storytelling. This one's the, called uh, The Beginning of a Smile. I, I love the title and it makes me want to look a little deeper into this work. Okay, so Paul Clay was born in Switzerland, but he was considered a German because his father was German. And um, he was married to a piano player. And um, he, in the early part of his career, he did more of the child rearing um, than maybe was normal for a man at his time because uh, he, his career would, you know, had a little trouble getting started. And he was really close to his son, Felix and he made puppets for him, and he sounds like he was a very playful, fun dad, and I also like that about his story. So um, I'm gonna show you a technique now, and um, so I'm gonna move the camera down so you can see my hands and the materials, and um, so let's get started with this technique. The art supplies that you'll need for this activity are um, some ink, a roller, a pencil, a couple pieces of paper. I'm using a, a thick paper because in addition to using some ink, we're also gonna be using some paint later, or you can if you want. You need something to roll your ink onto. I'm using a piece of plexiglass. You could use glass, you could use a, a plastic plate, whatever you wanted. And then um, I do have a, a watercolor palette and a brush and a cup of water. Okay, so the first step is I'm going to take this ink and I'm going to put a little bit on the piece of plexiglass 
and I'm going to roll it out. And I'm going to roll both directions. so that it's smooth and evenly rolled. We don't want any thick areas. Sorry for the squeaky roller, but there you go. And so, that looks pretty good there. So now I'm gonna take my piece of paper and I'm going to lay it right into the ink. And I'm not going to press it very hard. So what I'm going to use um, now is the pencil and I'm going to draw an image onto the back of the paper. And um, that's going to create a, a transfer. And this um, is similar to some techniques that Paul Clay used. So since he's known for his um, kind of childlike quality and his images and the examples I showed you were all simple portraits, I'm going to draw a, a simple face. So we've got the, the head, the neck, and the shoulders. And then I'm going to draw some eyes, a nose. mouth. I think this person's going to be wearing a necklace. Okay, and then I just drew in their hair. All right, so let's see how that comes out. And then we'll peel the paper back and see how it transfers. So here you can see I have um, a little um, transfer of my image in black ink. And I am okay with this little bit of the, the background, the smudgy look in the background. Um, if you remember in the pictures that I showed you in the beginning that Paul Clay did, his pieces have a similar kind of smudgy work like that because he worked in the same way. So that's part of the background now. It's part of the effect. Okay, so the next part of the project that I want to do, and I'll turn it toward you, the camera, um, is you can do a little bit of painting and drawing into the print afterwards. Um, if you want to do some drawing, you can just draw right across the ink. I'm using a water-based ink. I would prefer to use oil-based or um, an easily cleanable um, kind of earth friendly um, oil based ink, but I just don't have any today. So this is just a, like the speedball um, water based ink and it's working pretty good for this project. Um, it will dry quickly and so that actually might be kind of beneficial to what I'm doing here. I think I'm going to draw in the center of the eye. Um, kind of like drawing through the ink. I'm moving the ink around with my pencil. Um, I could use a colored pencil at this point and add a little color, but since I know I'm going to do some painting, I'll um, use, use my um, paint to add color. Now, because I'm using water-based ink, it, wherever I get the, um, the paper wet, it will start to kind of smear the, the ink. You can see there I'm showing you how that happens and actually I really like that so um, I'm just going to kind of come along the background behind the hair in some areas and do that on purpose. You can even start to create a line with this water-based ink. And 
and it becomes almost like a watercolor or India ink effect. So that's pretty fun. But if we want to add color, I'll clean my brush a little bit and um, I'm going to work with um, greens and blues and purples just because I want to. So um, I think I'm going to have my person be wearing a green shirt. Okay, and maybe some shading of purple in the background. I love purple and green together. And remember, if you don't want that black of the ink to blend in with what you're doing, then you just kind of paint around it. A little bit in there would deepen up my purple. I like that. This is not a project for somebody who has a very specific idea. Although if I explored this technique more and more, I would get better at it and I would, you know, remember what I like and what I don't like. So I think from just exploring this a little bit, that this would be a fun technique to kind of sketch and think through an idea. Um, Paul Clay, um, was a really productive artist. He created over 9,000 works of art in his lifetime. Um, so I have a feeling he was maybe an artist that um, liked to stay busy, stay thinking, keep working. Um, and so that's a great lesson. In addition to being an artist, Paul Clay was um, a teacher and um, devoted a lot of time of his life to um, writing about color theory and um, he was a big thinker. He taught at the Bauhaus School, which is a famous school of art um, in Germany at one time. So I'll add a little blue and kind of let it be, I think. I probably, um, I'm enjoying this, but I think I might like to let it dry a little bit before I do more. I could see coming in with, with a pen and ink or something like that to add some details. So um, this is my drawing of a woman, I'd say. Um, inspired by Paul Clay's oil transfer technique. And um, I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about this wonderful artist and also um, kind of a simple, fun, free technique. All right, thank you so much, bye. Hi, my name is Britt Sutton and I'm the president and CEO of ArtMix. First, we want to thank you for joining us today for our online curriculum. ArtMix is an organization that transforms the lives of individuals with disabilities through the creation of art. Today you participated in one of our community classes. Usually these classes are in our studios and for a small fee. We sincerely hope that you'll consider making a donation to our program after watching today's classes. Please visit artmixindiana.org for more information and we thank you for joining us.